Welcome back to Between the Sharks. I'm kind of breaking out of another video I'm doing right now because I am curious. So I got this Roadster not long ago. I'm super excited about it, but we are very much in the parts gathering phase because, well, I didn't even plan to buy it. So I got nothing else. So I don't have a frame. I don't even know if I'm gonna buy one or build one. Don't know what kind of front suspension I'm gonna run. If I'm gonna do an under the frame or a suicide front end. If I'm doing a suicide front end, I could build it. Anyway, what I do have around here is this S10 rear end with 308 gears that matches several transmissions that I have just sort of scattered about. It was too narrow for this one because the body's real wide in the back end. It appears all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and mock this thing up with two 82015 type of things on whatever wheels and whatever backspacing and see what the deal is and see what parts I may or may not need in order to run this rear end if I want to, because well, it's right here. And for you fellas out there, the S10, you know, width and all this stuff is of serious, serious debate on some of the forums. So I got one. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check out the how to choose a rear end for your hot rod because I go into measuring this in detail and how to measure them and all that stuff. But I've done the measurements. It clears by five inches. So two and a half inches on either side. Let's see what that means with, you know, some wheels and some back spacing and see how she looks. Why? Well, because the parts are literally sitting right here. And uh, that can function as well, if not better than a tape measure. So here we go. Hey, look at what I'm looking at. Like, that's perfect. Maybe a half inch of backspacing or a little spacer. And that's really easy to come by. These wheels are no good. Um, they're really rusty and rotten, but this is the tire size I prefer to run for the rear big and littles, which is an 82015. This is actually an old Firestone. This actually came with this car, interestingly enough. Barely bolted on to the Model T hubs, which I guarantee you, these wheels don't fit. But um, it's actually so close that uh, I have to I have to be an idiot and actually go ahead and slide this body back on its little cart because I want to see it in the wheel wells and you know just because that's what I want to do it's totally pointless mostly kind of not anyway All right, gang, it's, uh, I mean, <laughs> first of all, it's Sunday afternoon. It's 90 degrees, it's 100% humidity, and I'm moving heavy stuff just for fun, and I'm spending all my money on these parts. So, like, I could be doing anything else. I spent $170 on a rear end today, which is one other heavy thing I have to move. I could have done anything else with $170 today. I could have gotten a really, you know, I could have gotten a hotel room by a pool. Um, but this is where I want to be, I guess, because it's exactly where I am and I'm smiling. So, S10 rear end, the wheel wells are a little floppy, so we got some room, but you can see on the sub rails there is clearance. Uh, I didn't even bother to center it because we are indeed pretty close. I would like to get them out just a fuzz more just so that there's room for them to rock and roll over bumps without hitting the side of the body. But it is really fun to see that uh, an 82015, like it looks like it was made for that wheel well. I'm trying to give you all the perspectives. So, I mean, that's where I want it to be sitting when the suspension is loaded. So we may have to go up just a fuzz, but this is right. Now, I can already tell by looking at it that that's gonna involve a bit of a C-notch. So we'll have to work all of that out, considering we're looking at the sub rails there almost right on the axle, not even the frame. So maybe we will be building a custom frame for this one. I don't know, I'm not against it. The only thing about that is, uh, I don't want to channel it, so I want to see the side of the frame. 
So maybe if I can get a really hammered set of Model A rails um, that I don't feel bad about cutting up, that's what we'll do. But anyway, we're still, we're just beginning the parts search, but it's always fun. A, when you have some parts that kind of work, and B, just sort of mocking it up to see how it ought to be. And I think that's how it ought to be. So stay tuned, we're gonna be building this, but I'm literally trying to work on getting the rear end in this one, so stay tuned for that too. And I'm gonna get back to it, which means I need these wheels and I gotta put this roadster right back where I found it. And then we're gonna continue mounting that rear end. That's another video. It's like, yeah. It's getting confusing here. What am I working on? Anyway, thanks for watching Between the Sharks. Thanks for subscribing. If you subscribe, it really does help the channel out. And we're gonna build this car, and we're gonna build this car, and we're gonna do more stuff. Good luck on your projects out there. Uh, we will see you next time on Between the Sharks. Man, we got a lot to do.